as a Texas taxpayer, I can legally use my Wolverine claws in self-defense inside my home, and I think that's fantastic. I, I love being here. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a super hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel and we're bringing back weapon logs. I've done another video fairly recently, I don't know when I'm posting any of these, but <laughs> um, uh, we're bringing back weapon logs where I just go over some cool weapons that I have, showing you them and at the end I'll show you and tell you know whether they're actually useful for self-defense. Today we're going over these um, non, not technically Wolverine, they're more like tiger claws, they're brass tiger claws in the form of brass knuckles, which already makes them illegal in like a ton of places, I'm not gonna lie to you, they, they are illegal in a lot of spots. However, that doesn't mean they're illegal everywhere, number one, and number two, it definitely doesn't mean they're not fun to use, because let me tell you, these guys would do some damage. I was punching some, like, some fruit and stuff, and having three inch holes dug into your your enemy every single time you punch them is a wild thought and it's not just like one there are four spikes on each of your fists digging in just like a tire hence the name tire claw and these brass knuckles are gonna add weight to your fist as well so when you're just swinging you're gonna just do damage. However, there is a drawback with how these things are built. If you notice, they don't have any palm support. Like, when you put your fingers in, there's nothing that connects it to your palm, which is kind of a big problem, if I do say so myself, simply because a lot of the point in brass knuckles, like the, the reason it doesn't break your fingers is because all that weight is spread against your palm and in through your arm. Your fingers aren't actually taking the brunt force of your punch. With this setup, it means that if you were relying on a powerful punch, you're gonna end up breaking your fingers. Definitely two of them, but maybe all of them, simply because that's just how power works when using brass knuckles without something, you know, for it, where, uh, some place for it to go. However, these things are still really pokey. Like this, they're just sharp. And so as long as you're using them more of a stabbing implement, so maybe grabbing them like this instead and just kind of shunk, 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 you'll, you'll get some jobs done. Like you'll, you'll do what you need to do. No one's gonna keep fighting you after you've poked four holes in them for, you know, three punches in a row. You're just, it's just not in their benefit to keep fighting you, and that's just a reality of it. However, that just be aware of that when using these, because if you're not aware of that, and you put your fingers in between, and then throw the hardest haymaker you got because you're untrained, you might end up breaking your knuckles. And as someone who's shattered their entire hand before because of a messed up punch, you really don't want to do that. However, if you do want to get these, don't worry, I have links down in the description below. With all that said, I think for the self-defense purpose of these, um, I'm gonna go with a four, my gut says four, simply because of the fact that they are missing that support. If they had that support, these would be so much higher on my list. I'd have such a higher number for them, but simply because they do lack that support, I'm gonna give it a four. These are still really fun to use though, like I'm not gonna lie, they're fun to use and just acting like Wolverine is always a blast, so you can't, like, I'm not gonna complain that much, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think they're a four? Do you think they're higher than a four? Do you think they're less than a four, like a one? Um, let me know down in the comments, and while you're there, consider becoming a member and joining these guys right here. They're awesome, and so if you wanted to be awesome, you could join them on the members page where you'll not only get your name at the end of my videos, but you'll get access to many of my videos before they actually release to the public, and some that never actually get released to the public. Um, so if you're interested in that, consider becoming a member and it'll help me make more content. Self-promo now over. With all that said, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. Baby, perfect. <laughs>
I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to